As the young Jupiter circles the sun, it clears a path through the gas cloud that envelops the early solar system. But that process causes it to do something alarming. Jupiter begins to spiral inwards, plowing straight through the region of space that would become the asteroid belt. When the young Jupiter moves through the primordial asteroid belt, things get scattered around, things get gravitationally deflected, and as a consequence of all of this gravitational interaction, more than 99% of the original mass that was there is basically now gone. The asteroid belt has been disrupted over time by the movement of the giant planets. And this has acted to throw material from the asteroid belt out of the asteroid belt into the outer solar system. These protoplanetary cores like Ceres were never able to graduate to full-fledged planets because there was just not enough material in the orbital neighborhood. When Jupiter passed through the primordial asteroid belt, it starved Ceres of material halting its growth. And the dwarf planet was condemned to live out its life as a cold, barren rock. But Ceres isn't the only world in our solar system whose development was cut short. Mars would suffer a similar fate at the hands of Jupiter. After marauding through what would become the asteroid belt, Jupiter enters the region of space where Mars is forming. continuing its journey, spiraling towards the sun. As Jupiter bulldozes inwards, its immense gravity scatters material in all directions. Some is sent careering into the sun. And some is thrown out into interstellar space. It is because of the gravitational clearing of this neighborhood by Jupiter that Mars was unable to grow to more than 10% of that of the Earth. This is why Mars is small. And by clearing material out of the inner solar system, the giant planet may also have prevented the formation of the super-Earths we see in other systems. And if it had continued moving inward, our planet too might never have formed. But then, just as it looks like Jupiter will sweep everything away, the giant planet stops in its tracks. Because in the shadows of the outer solar system, another planet is forming. The solar system's second gas giant. Saturn. And its arrival 
changes everything. As Jupiter moved inwards, Saturn moved inwards and caught up to Jupiter's orbit. When this happened, the two locked into a special configuration known as a mean motion resonance. This is where the planets begin to interact gravitationally in a very coherent manner. And now, locked as a unit, the two reversed their migration course and moved back out. Saturn caused Jupiter to retreat. leaving behind just enough material from which the inner planets could form. Mercury, Venus, and our home. Earth is in exactly the right location to provide the environment for life to develop. So if Jupiter had moved around even more, who knows, maybe life never would have developed in the solar system as we know it. And as its voyage across the solar system draws to a close, Jupiter helps to provide our living world with its most precious ingredient. Today, two-thirds of our planet's surface is covered by ocean. More than 1.3 billion cubic kilometers of water. Each drop teeming with life. One of the big questions about the evolution of our solar system is, how did we get water here on this planet? So we think that the inner planets didn't naturally form with a lot of water. Water is primarily in the outer solar system. But if you end up having Jupiter and Saturn moving outwards, then that is able to suddenly deliver more water into the inner solar system. Locked in a gravitational dance with Saturn, Jupiter moves back through the asteroid belt. And as it does so, water-rich material is flung inward, where it is incorporated into the growing terrestrial worlds. So the movement of the giant planets have actually played an important role in the delivery of water to the inner solar system. In a sense, it is Jupiter's outwards motion through the asteroid belt that we have to thank for the delivery of water to the surface of the Earth the Earth would be quite a different planet if not for Jupiter's primordial dance.